Now to new information on an east side shooting. One man is dead, another in custody this evening following a shooting this morning outside a bar on East Houston Street and East Commerce Street. The shooting first reported around 8 this morning, but the scene stayed active through this afternoon. Police ex executed a search warrant with the help of a SWAT team using tear gas. It's unclear what exactly they were looking for in there, but as Alicia Barrera explains, what they're trying to find is a motive. Emotions running high on the east side this morning. Family members realizing a dead man may be one of their own. When police arrived, they found one man lying near the entrance of the bar groove, dead. One male, uh, black male deceased with an apparent gunshot wound to the head. We were immediately getting pointed towards the hotel uh, that the suspects ran that direction. Several witnesses were detained for questioning. Meanwhile, investigators believe they have identified the shooter. We set up a quadrant, got the helicopter in the air, ended up having one suspect show up at a local hospital uh, with gunshot wounds as well. It was taken into custody. Police say the suspect was shot in the hip area by a family member of the victim. We believe the shooter was shot by the uncle of the deceased. Investigators say the uncle has not been arrested. Two vehicles were removed from the scene for processing, and according to police, at least one car had blood evidence. Sergeant Tidwell tells me he doesn't believe the bar was open when the shooting happened. Witnesses actually tell him that the group was sitting outside, and here is where investigators have already collected more than 10 shell casings. Tense moments followed after family members of those involved took their outrage to the street. Everybody that's here is obviously upset, but I'm being told that many of them are family members of the deceased, so you could understand that they would be upset knowing that uh, family members passed. Police were able to break up the fight and no arrests were made. Meanwhile, investigators continue to collect evidence to determine the motive behind the deadly shooting. Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.